One of the things that may at this stage be a little bit of a puzzle to you is why we make such a big deal out of the uncertainty budget. What's all of that about? It seems to hang off the back, doesn't seem to do any work. Well, the truth is that in experimental work, the uncertainty budget plays a very central role. Let me explain why. Remember that when we spoke about laboratory work, experimental work, something that we consider of great importance is the quality of that work. And by quality of the work, we are referring to the sense that, is this work valid? Can it be trusted? Will these results be trusted? Is this correct? All of these questions are asked by people in the scientific community and when one quotes a result of an experiment, one will quote it always with some level of confidence. You can see that these terms, the quality of the work, the level of confidence with which the result of the experiment is being quoted, all tie directly to the uncertainty. In what way was the uncertainty quantified? And that is what the uncertainty budget does. It explains to your reader not only what sources of uncertainty you took into account, but you also explain to your reader how these sources were evaluated. And just to complete the picture, you also give the result of each evaluation. Now, of course, in any experiment, there are many sources of uncertainty. But fortunately, there are techniques that have been evolved to help us work our way through that. And this is where the type A and type B analysis of uncertainty will help us. Where we have a set of data in which we can see some scatter in those data, we can use a type A evaluation of uncertainty. And that implies that we consider that the source of uncertainty that has to be evaluated is the scatter in the data. By definition, any form of uncertainty evaluation that's not a type A evaluation is a type B. And there are many sources of uncertainty that may result in your having to do a type B evaluation of uncertainty. But you can see that I've given this thing back to front, haven't I? Because in experimental work you don't start here and work back to this way. In real experimental work what you do is you start out by identifying all the sources of uncertainty and there may be many that you take into account. Then you decide how you're going to evaluate these sources of uncertainty and of course finally you're going to quote the result. Please make sure that when you quote these results, you do so to the correct number of significant figures. If you've done a normal, fairly rigorous assessment of the uncertainty, you're going to quote this result to two significant figures, not more. It does, however, happen on occasion that depending on the kind of evaluation you may have done, you may have had to take some guesses, you may actually quote this result here to one significant figure. So to recap, remember that the uncertainty budget plays a central role in reporting to your reader what the quality of the work was that you have done in this experiment, and that will be underpinned by the level of confidence with which you are quoting the result, which comes from the way in which the uncertainty was evaluated. Thank you.